Hey guys, it's Extreme 3D, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Lori 3D printer. So, here you can see the time lapse of me building it. It took me around two and a half hours to build, um, and it was over the course of like two days. Um, so, it was pretty easy to build um, compared to the other printers I've uh, built before. And uh, it took a little bit of calibration, but I will go over that in future videos. So, let's take a look at it now. Alright guys, so here is the printer after I finished building it. You can see it's working. It took a while, but I finally got it working. And I put it, so here we have the other printers, and that's basically where it is now. So this whole entire side is just one big workshop, I guess. So these are some old PC water cooling fans that I have. I have two of them. Um, and I got... Uh, some LED lit fans, so I'm gonna, so that's why I have these, and I'm thinking of using these and like designing and 3D printing some parts to maybe have like a fan mounted like right there, or maybe have one mounted like, I don't know, just somewhere just to keep either the power supply cool, because this I guess is just passively cooled, um, I don't see any fans, it's kind of silent. You can see I already 3D printed some parts to cover up the terminals to the wires because I didn't want anyone to accidentally touch it. Um, but I may design something just because it seems like one of the fans on this is still not working. I checked the wiring. I'm using the left extruder right now, yet the fan's not even on. There are fans on the sides though, uh, which is kind of nice. But uh, let me get back to the point of this, which is just looking at the overall build because um, not all of it was caught in the time-lapse, but there you can see the dual extruders. It's really nice. Uh, they're E3D hot ends. Uh, they're clones. Uh, there's the Z-probe in the back. It's kind of loud, um, but I think... I don't know. I think it's about the same uh, as my Flashforge uh, creator codes. There you can see the motherboard underneath the acrylic right here. And there's uh, This was laser cut so you can kind of see the logo. These are both of the extruder motors. Um, you can see this one is the one being used because uh, this is a Bowden system so that's pretty cool. Um, but this thing is massive. Like this is... This bed is one foot right here. The bed. Just that. And... Um, this just takes up so much space. I had to move a lot of stuff, but it worked out because this is where, this was my workbench before, so now this is my workbench, this tiny little area, and this is just for the printer. Um, but yeah, so that is, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for more tutorials where I'm going to, uh, you know, go over other things such as maybe the interface on this LCD screen and the menus and how to calibrate this and set up your first print. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!